My name is Debbie Lay. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already and remember to click the bell and it will alert you every time I drop a new class. Today's practice, 10 minutes. Sometimes we simply just don't have enough time, but I'm a big believer that 10 minutes of something is better than nothing at all. So it really just helps us connect to mind, body, soul, and to really prevent injuries, and just stretch the body, shift our energy, and change our perspective. Shall we get started? So I'm already starting uh, in Sukhasana, so I encourage you to do the same. And my right leg is in front of the left, and I'm crossing the legs of the shins, and my feet are underneath my knees with the feet flexed. Sit up nice and tall, roll the shoulders down and away from the ears. And as you inhale through the nose, grow taller. And then as you exhale, just hinge forward. Now, if this is too much, you can sit on a pillow. You can grab a block or a bolster, whatever you've got handy and hinge forward. Just bringing the floor to meet you where you're at this morning. This is little Mango. We're uh, staying at the beach and dropping into the body, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Create a little space through the back of the neck. I'm just going to come down a little deeper. And there's a lot of awareness in your feet, so keep the feet flexed, pressing down as you hug the belly in and lift your back ribs up. One more cycle of breath here, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose, and inhaling, lifting yourself up. Exhale, bring the right hand down to the side. So again, you could use the pillow if it's hard to get the hand to the floor. Left arm up, breathe in, and we're lifting straight up this left hip. And then arm up and over, spinning your chin into your left armpit. And you want to feel this grounding through the left hips and the left sit bone. So maybe even pressing your hand down on your thigh to feel a little weight there. And then you're spinning your ribs up towards the left. And it's hard to breathe here because you're twisting your diaphragm, which is definitely helping your respiratory system. Two more cycles of breath. Remember, they're not your deepest stretches, but they're really just allowing you to stretch the breath into the body. So it just really helps you feel more grounded. And inhale, lift up. Keeping the right leg in front, keep the left leg out on an angle, pulling the sole of the foot to the thigh. Hands on the ribs, spin your ribs to your left thigh. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, hinge forward. So, this is going to feel very different in everybody's body. If you've got a tight hamstring, you're going to bend the knee and you could catch the foot. You could even grab a strap or a belt and have that there. You could bring blocks on either side of the foot. You could bring the forearms down. You could bring the forearms on the block. So you just choose wherever you're at today. And there's this gentle spinning of your right ribs towards the left thigh. And then we want to lengthen through the neck. So I'm looking forward, rolling the shoulders down and away from the ears. Exhale, allow yourself to go deeper. And again, there's a grounding through the right sit bone. So you could even press down here, spinning the ribs. Two more cycles of breath wherever you are. Stretching the breath into the lower back. Inhale. Surrendering down. Exhale. Inhaling, lifting yourself. Take both arms up as you breathe in. Rotating to the right for an exhale here. Five cycles of breath. Reflex your left foot. Inhale, lengthen. Grow taller through the spine. Exhale, rotate. Remember the most important part of every pose 
is the breath. And when we're not consciously breathing the ujjayi pranayama, we're not really doing yoga. So the breath is the, is the yoga. One more cycle of breath here, inhale. And exhale, rotate. Bringing your left foot in front this time. And again, cross the legs of the shins. Not hanging out here. Just feels a little bit more intense. Flex the feet. Inhale, grow tall. And exhale, hinge forward. Remember, use your blocks if you need them. A pillow here under the forearms. And when you're ready, roll the shoulders down. And we want this lovely length through the back of the neck. So we're growing tall, pressing down through the sit bones lengthening through the spine all the way through to the crown of the head. My feet are very active, my belly's hugging in, inhaling here. You could even come down and bring the forehead down onto your fists. And inhaling, lifting yourself up. Drop the left hand down. You could use a block or a pillow here. Right arm up, left up. And arm up and over. Stretch the block or the hand away. Five cycles of breath here. And I like to spin my chin towards the right armpit. Again, you can press the hand down to get a bit of gravity in that thigh. So you're descending this hip bone and the thigh down. You're pressing down to lift up. One more cycle of breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale here. Extend the right leg out. Janu Shasana. Spin your ribs towards the right thigh. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhaling, lengthening the crown of the head away from the tailbone. Some of you might be able to bring the forearms down. And remember, if it feels intense in your hamstrings, you can generously bend the knee. You could use your strap. You can bring the blocks and bring your forearms down onto the blocks. So there's always so many options. I hear over and over again that people think they're not flexible, they're not flexible enough to do yoga, which to me is crazy. It's not about how flexible you are, it's really just allowing yourself to meet your body where it's at. The flexibility will come the more you show up. One more cycle of breath. And lifting up. Inhale, both arms up, breathe in. Exhale, rotate here. Three more cycles of breath. Keep your right foot flexed. Last cycle of breath, inhaling, exhaling here. And again, if you don't feel like you've got much um, mobility through your lower back, I'm just going to sit on a cushion here to demonstrate. So I'm sitting near the edge so I can get this nice tilt in my pelvis. Inhale, lift. And again, some of you are going to stretch the hands forward. Some of you will stack the hands. You could even, if you've got blocks, and if you've got two blocks, you could be starting here. And then take it down. That's it. Flex the feet. You're pressing the femur down into the hamstring and the shin bones down into the calf. Lengthen through the neck.
and stretch the breath into your beautiful body. This is a wonderful act of self-care, just taking 10 minutes for yourself here. That's all we need. You can come back and practice with me again, maybe tomorrow with a longer class. But maybe you'll come back and do the same stretch. Leave me feedback in the comments below, sweet yogis. And inhale lift. Bring the soles of the feet together. Just bowing the chin to the chest. Take a moment to thank your body for all the work it's just done. Honor yourself for showing up. And I thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. Beautiful work, yogis. Thanks for joining me here. Remember to subscribe, leave me some feedback, and have a great day. Mwah.